Hi everyone, say hello. Let us know that you're watching. Scott and Amy, and we're up here in Crimmins, Wisconsin, Sharky's Greenhouses. So if you haven't been following us, that's who we are. And say hello, let us know where you're watching from. Because some of you are all over the world, it's crazy. Yeah, and it's we love that. Yeah, that's really awesome. So as promised, we're going to talk petunias a little bit. Petunia talk! Yep, and we decided before we went on, we're going to do a longer version of this. Once the petunias are all blooming, but right now they're pretty young. They're just little babies. But this will give you an inside glimpse. So, first off, look at these petunias. They're just little babies. Can you tell the difference between the two? Because I can't, unless I have the tags. So there's a really vast difference in petunias. And when you're talking bedding petunias, and you can see these are a bedding petunia. And I know that because of the tag, what the breed is on it. And these are... What is it? Uh, eight Tritunia. to ten inches yeah. and ten to twelve. Something you use yeah. more in a border. Where this one and they, look at that, they look pretty darn similar, don't they? This one is a wave petunia, and this is going to grow and be completely different than these. These are going to grow out and longer. And you say, well, if I want to do, you know, a border, what should I use? Well, you're going to use either a mounding, and there's different mounding. Like, look at that mounding. Isn't that pretty? That's beautiful. What's that color? Sangria. Sangria. Yep. Yep. It's got how pretty that is. Yep. And that one is 8 to 12 inches, low to mid to medium vigor. So mm -hmm. it's not going to be super aggressive. It's just going to grow up nice and round. Where these are going to be more, not as mounding as this. Right. Right. But, you know, they're, they're bedding plant petunias. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Inexpensive. Yeah, so there is a vast difference in petunias. So, and then we get into the big petunias. Well, even look at, okay, yep. so that's a mounding, and this is a proven winner. This is a uh, lovey-dovey, I think this yep, one is. that's lovey-dovey. Lovey -dovey. And this gets pretty aggressive. So where you might have this be nice mounted in a basket, this one will come mound and come way out of the basket. So there's so many different varieties. Yeah. And you really have to pay attention to what you're putting what you're putting together because you grab a pack of bedding plant petunias and you stick them in with the super petunias. Oh, this isn't a super. Yeah, but the, um, and you, know, and you know, like these behind me, these are super petunias. They're not gonna play well. <laughs> they're, they're, when, when those start growing, they're just gonna mow right over. So, you know, this, if, if you mix this in, that was just a waste because it's just going to go right over the top of it. And, and choke it out. it's just going to absolutely strangle it. So, yeah, you really have to pay attention. And like Amy was saying with the tags, there's a lot of information on the tags. And look for that vigor. Is it a medium vigor? Is it a high vigor? What's, you know, how is tall it, is it going to get? Is it mounding? Is it trailing? Wide? Yeah, there's, there's a lot of information there. So really pay attention to that information. It's, it's good. Um, it's a good baseline right because sometimes we'll well you know just from experience like well you know it says full sun uh i can get away with some you know a little bit more shade or but that something comes with experience that comes with experience and just real world scenario so some you know we play around with a lot of stuff and uh, but like the lovey dovey is a super petunia uh the bubblegum vista which is also a proven winners that is a super petunia super petunia but totally different you can get away with you know this being in a planter with something else the super petunias will just <laughs> take it. over and they're, choke it out yeah they're they're not going to play well together so yeah. you, you keep those super petunias especially that vista series that proven winners vista series put it by itself or mix with other vista series because they're they're the the big behemoth meat beasts that they're they're not going to play well if if you use something small that doesn't have the vigor to keep up. Yeah. So. So um, petunia wise, bedding petunias typically are going to be in your packs, and those are going to be more for your borders, um, very small small containers. They're not going to ever get to be a great big basket that that hangs over. Yeah. If, if and you I want, think that's what a lot of people want to know is which ones are the easiest to take care of. Yep. And bedding petunias, you should, you should. You do have some. You do have some deadheading yeah. with the uh, the bedding petunias. So you, you're getting not, four packs. They're cheap. Yeah. yeah, but they're they're probably more work. Yeah. Um, 
and they're just not going to be impressive. Like I, I, I said this, I think it was yesterday or whatever. It drives me crazy when somebody's like, I'm going to make my own hanging basket. And they're, you know, they've got a, a 14 inch hanging basket, like this great big one back here. And they buy a four pack of bedding plant bedding petunias. petunias. For a buck ninety nine, and then I, they don't. They say, "Oh, I'm not good at gardening. I don't know why mine doesn't look like that." That's this. not going to be impressive. <laughs> so you, you gotta. There, there's such a vast difference in petunias. You gotta know what you're talking about, and you uh, ask. And yeah. I, that's why I like to really. Everybody knows dogs, right? Okay, so dogs are all the same. They're dogs, but each breed is different. So each variety yeah this is a chihuahua it's never gonna get that big it's small this might be you know a boxer or a labrador retriever or a golden retriever it's gonna be you know bigger medium larger sized dog and then the super petunias behind me that's a saint bernard totally different chihuahua saint bernard so you know they're they're all dogs but they're they're vastly different, and they're going to perform different. And so, they get different care. Yeah, it, it, so it, it's it's something to really be aware of. And if you want the big, impressive hanging baskets, you got to go with the the bigger, vigorous petunias, those super petunias. So when you're asking us, you know, what plants, and then we're going to go with petunias right now because that's what we're talking about. Which petunias should I put into hanging baskets? Well, okay, we're going to say, number one, not a bedding petunia. Yeah. Uh, these, which are really cute, are nice for maybe a smaller basket, like an 8-inch basket, or maybe even a 10-inch a, a a basket. basket. They're, yeah, they're would nice. Pull out nice. They're not going to get massive. It's small and medium. Yeah, they're kind of going to mount just a little bit, but not way over the basket. And how many are we going to put into, let's say, an 8-inch basket? What are we going to put into an 8-inch hanging basket? In a mounding petunia like this, three. Okay. No more than three. In a 10 in, or Oh, eight. I'm sorry, in an 8-inch one. Yeah. Just yep. one. 8-inch, we're, we're putting in one. One. In a 10-inch, like three. Three. Okay, yeah. so now we go up to a 12-inch. I wouldn't do them in a 12-inch. Because they're just not going to be... Mm -mm. You know, for us... You know, you, this, this is early on, and you know, you can... Spin it around, you can see how, you how can much You can see that, how much that's coming over. It's early. It's We've got a month before we even open the doors on our greenhouses and for And that's for early sale. even for people to take them. Yeah, so... <laughs> You know, the point is, you're not going to see this hanging basket at all because this hanging basket is going to be like this. So you know, you're not going to have that with yeah. a mounding petunia. Yeah. So these are the super petunias. Yep. So, okay. So, so then with the next one up would be like a wave petunia. Yep. And those are beautiful. And we like the easy yeah. waves. They're, yeah. a, they're a, a little bit more compact. Don't think of the old wave petunias that your grandma has. That's not it. You know, the, the easy waves are... They get a nice trail to them. Yeah, they... But they do get that bald top. Um, the easy waves are nice. I like the I easy know, waves. I know, but they They're... still get a little bit more of a flat top, where, like, the well, super petunias get that higher mound yeah, and then yeah, come out. Yeah, so... Right? Um, I'm going to disagree with you on that uh, one. <laughs> yeah, the easy waves, I think they still fill out really, really nice. I think they get the flat top. Okay, well... <laughs> you we'll know, see this Professionals summer. can disagree on some <laughs> things. <laughs> <laughs> but I I like the Easy Waves. They perform nice. We use them on a lot of hanging baskets and in our petunia trees. We've done them. But when you compare Easy Wave with a um, a Super Petunia, it's like three to one. Yeah. So you're going to be using three Easy Waves to one Super Petunia. And, and that's going to fill opinion, in. my <laughs> opinion, it's going to get the Super Petunias get that higher mound. They and get more like a ball. Oh, I won't disagree with that. Okay, There's that's super, what I was saying. Okay, they okay get, all right. Super Petunia, or, uh, I don't know how to say get, the, They get a little bit more flat on top. Okay, well, the, there are Petunias that get bald. Yes. There are some. Yeah. And and we, we notice that, and we generally, you know, at the end of the year, we'll be like, ah, I didn't like that series. Um, and I would not put Easy Waves in that category. They don't get bald on top. There are some that just trail down. Right. Yeah, so that's where I thought right. you were going. But they get more flat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're just I'm saying the same thing just differently. <laughs> that's what husbands and wives do, right? <laughs> so, okay. So 
So yeah, so super this, petunia. Yeah, and that's twelve inch. We do a lot of super petunia. Yeah, mostly just because people aren't driving from other states to get a little hanging basket yeah. from us. So yeah, they, they we mostly deal with twelve inch hanging baskets. We sell thousands of them, and uh, the then we do have one size up from that is the the fourteen inch, and those are all sold every year because we don't have enough. Room. We yeah we. We can't even. We, and we get asked we that a lot off. too. Why don't you just build more greenhouses? That's really an easy <laughs> I answer. Know, yeah, I know. Yeah, because I don't have just three hundred thousand dollars <laughs> laying around. So that's between, why. Between money, workers, and yeah. time, lots of work. We're like, you know what? We're happy being a smaller greenhouse, and yeah. and we do well at it, and we can we can pamper each one a little bit more. But going back to the mounding petunias. The mounting petunias are great for combo planters. Like if you're, whether you're doing a basket or whether you're doing a planter for on the ground, these work really, really well. Even the Easy Wave petunias work really well as far as giving you that kind of that petunia look to it and then adding in maybe a spike or, you know, some other flowers sure. that go with it to make it mixed. As far as baskets, you can still mix this with other plants. You just have to make sure that they're not super, super aggressive. So whereas the super petunias, like the bubble gum, the Vista series specifically, yeah. um, the bubble gum and what this, is in that one? Uh, Snowdrift, Paradise. Yep. The, it's the Vista. Or the fuchsia color. Those do not play well with other plants. I think the only thing that we found that you could mix with the Vista series, other than other Vista colors, is potato vine, the aggressive long trailing yeah. potato yeah. vine. Potato vine was aggressive enough that it could keep pace mm -hmm. and the other thing is that super alyssum um proven that, winners has the that proven too. winners super alyssum that was we call it alyssum on steroids yeah it it, 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 it is it's just gets massive but if you put super alyssum with this it the alyssum would take this over yeah oh yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so don't think you're gonna plant that vista series with oh i'm gonna put a like a, a geranium in there yeah. and you know some lantana and that stuff will be gone because it just will get smothered and if you have questions when you're shopping as far as what variety are you looking at best thing to do is go to a local greenhouse that is actually growing yeah not just the not nope, the ones that are just they're just buying and selling not those people go in we don't like and them ask them say yeah. what is the difference between this plant and this plant like you know why is this one only five dollars compared to this one over here that's eight dollars or why is the pack of them over here only maybe two dollars and a good greenhouse that is growing for a, for their living will know the difference without a question they will know the difference and yeah. they'll be able to point you in the right direction and you know if you're looking for just you know, maybe a big rain barrel that you want just full of color and low maintenance they might direct you to the super petunias and yeah. People Where, that know what, because of their groin and, yeah. you know, like the big box retailers, and that's what I'm talking about, you know, where they're just buying and selling, and you walk in there, they have no idea. I mean, if you ask them, hey, I want something for the shade, they're like, oh. Well, they're going to look at the sign, and they're going to be like, over here, but. Yeah, they'll try to sell you a really geranium for the shade. somebody that knows what yeah. you're doing. Yeah, so. That's Yeah, your key. local greenhouse that are actually growing, yeah. But now the wave, the easy waves are less expensive than the super petunias. But you also have to use like a three to one yeah. as far as. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It, so it realized that the, the cost. Yeah. So um, I'll have I'll have customers that will be like, I'm not paying, you know, eight dollars for a super petunia. I'm like, OK, but you know, if you're if you want to do the equivalent in easy ways, it's going to take three of them. So it's going to be a three to one. So now you're buying three easy waves to equal one super petunia. Yeah, the super petunias are more expensive, but you only need one of them in a, you know, in a, say like at a 10 inch. And I think that's pot. so hard for people to grasp that you only need one plant right, yeah. for that big of a pot. Yeah. And it's just, you have to trust the knowledge behind it. And yeah, you have got, to say, got a few years. I can see that it's a smaller plant right now, but give it two, three weeks midsummer and you're going to have just oh, a massive yeah. plant yeah and you, you want that um that road appeal that you know somebody's driving by and they're like whoa look at their flowers i mean that's what you want you don't want something that's just mediocre i mean i like a 
big hanging baskets and you know like we talked about with the petunia trees there's seven feet of color yeah and i mean it's massive it makes people literally oh. turn around and, and when you tell back. them there's only 16 plants in that tree you know that's taller than me and it's it's huge and and we do what three three of the petunia trees in our yard and they're just massive and then you tell people that's only 16 plants and they're like are you kidding me yeah, so it's a super petunia. Just but it comes really... down to variety. Yeah. It comes down to variety. So So now with the, um, let's talk a little bit about how many plants in the 12 and the 14 inch. Because yeah. I've, I've been answering those questions quite a bit. So we would not recommend bedding plants at all for hanging baskets. Um, if you see bedding plants in hanging baskets, I would just walk right by that. As far as the mounding, the smaller like this, and you're gonna use one of these in an eight inch basket, three in a 10 inch Ten basket. Inch. And I probably would not even bother putting a mounding in a 12 inch basket. You could, but uh, it's gonna But most gonna have people to put... who have 12 inch baskets that are big baskets, yeah. most of those people want it to be- Impressive, yeah. yeah. You want that curb appeal. Yep. Um, and I would not stick, well, you could do easy waves in an eight inch basket yeah we have yeah, yeah. and we yeah. normally stick what i should well the way we do that is we do them as a late so we try to get them going kind of quickly so we'll yeah. we we'll actually put three easy waves in an eight inch hanging basket if just you're doing because, it really early probably it, one yeah, but we're yeah. trying to yeah. make up for time so yeah. we pack it a little bit more um and then the easy waves in a 10 inch basket between three and five, yeah, depending on yeah. what time frame that you're planting and how For big sure. the plants are. Mm -hmm. Because our season's so short, yeah. we're trying to push as much color as possible. And then for a 12 inch basket, between what, like seven to nine? Yeah, in a 12, of, of like easy ways, easy of that, that medium vigor. Yep. Um, if you're putting super petunias, we put in Definitely five. no eight inch baskets. No. Uh, and question yourself on a 10 inch basket. Yeah, you'll be watering. Yeah. You'll be watering every half hour if you try to do that. Yeah, it's just it, it way, won't. Yeah, it, it's like, a, you know, it, it just outgrows it and then it's gonna consume that moisture so quickly. Mm -hmm. So- um, But a 12 inch basket. 12 inch basket, we put five super petunias mm -hmm. into a 12 inch basket. Yep. Um, and that's super petunias. Yeah, we mix them. We might we might put some vines or a potato vine or whatever. Then we might put in three super petunias and two two vines of some sort or or a filler, a scaviola. Yeah, the fan flower. Yep. We we mix them up, but we don't mix too much up because I like symmetrical. <laughs> right. I don't. And then we go into the fourteen inch. I'll let you grab it. I'll just hang on to the little one. Now, it, again, this is, we're early. This is early on. This wouldn't even fit in the picture once it comes end of May. Oh, there's a picture of Samantha with yeah. it on her head and yeah. it just is huge. Massive. You know, this will be six feet in diameter. So it'll go, it's going to be just huge. Mm -hmm. So, and this, this series turns out really nice. This, again, this is that Royal Velvet and the Magenta yep. and the Proven Winter series. Um, then the next step up from so that is, this the, is the Vista series. Yep. That's even more aggressive. Those get bigger. So and in the 14 inch size, seven to nine of uh, these supers. super petunias. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So if you're doing a 14 inch hanging basket, uh, and, and there's, there's some that are, um, like a lot of you will ha might have cocoa liners and honestly don't I even buy the cocoa liners. Yeah. Remember, you're not going to see, so if you have a fancy hanging basket with the coca liner, mo usually those people want to kind of see the basket. You're not going to see that hanging basket at all once, once, not. once this gets growing. So don't bother with the fancy hanging basket. You, if you're going to put in super petunias or something that, that's just going to be very, very vigorous, mm -hmm. don't bother with the fancy baskets because you're not going to see it. But this is a big basket. This is almost five gallons of soil. And this, I, we like these because mm -hmm. They're actually easier. They're not harder. They're easier because there's so much soil. So it has that ability to draw the moisture from that volume of soil. So let me say this because we have a lot of people who say we want to. It's already heavy. And this isn't, <laughs> even, this isn't even watered. 
<laughs> so we have a lot of a lot of you say, oh, we want to come see your greenhouse. We want to come see you. We want to come support you. And we thank you for that. We look forward That's to awesome. it. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, remember that the earlier you come in the season, yes, you're going to have more variety to choose from as far as shopping. But as far as our display of flowers, we do not plant until almost June. Oh, and, into June for yeah, sure. And yeah. normally yeah. we start planting with whatever's left over, which then becomes a hot item for next year. Yeah. But our hanging baskets, they look nice. They look really nice, you know, in, in end of May, June. <laughs> but the impressive portion of it yeah. isn't until July. Oh, yeah. July, they're they're looking so awesome. And, if you're and coming August to, like, especially. take pictures or something, July, July and August, August, July is, and August yeah. is when you're like, Whoa, I was, the car. The one year I was planting up our petunia trees and we get them started and they're in 10 inch, hang, uh, 10 inch pots. And uh, like I said, that has 16 pots mm -hmm. in it. And we had put them out in May. It might've been late May yeah. or early June, whatever. I was just, I was just putting them out and some guy pulls up and he's like, oh, they were more impressive last year. <laughs> really? Like when you drove past in July or August? Yeah, of course it was. You know what? That's the thing about flowers is they're going to grow. <laughs> so if you're putting stuff out right in, you know, third week of May, you know, for our area, yeah, it's going to grow a lot. So, so yeah, the, our, our building, I would say, is very, very With impressive. July, August. July, August. Yeah, yeah. But when people are shopping, it's still May, and we know we don't plant until the end of May. So they're normally coming. Our building is not decorated with flowers yet we we've, we've gotten stung yeah. like almost middle yeah. of june so we know uh we're a little leery on yeah it. i mean we had everything planted up outside and that and was like two like years ago go cover it <laughs> yeah i mean everything was out and it was like two years ago maybe three years ago and we had a night and it dropped and i don't mean freezing it was like woke up and it was 18 degrees mm -hmm. well that just wiped out everything and so then we, just like everyone else, we planted, we had to plant again. So yeah. we don't decorate our outside until into June. Yeah. Yeah, you know, where it's, where it's well, safe we in Wisconsin. We said, what if we did for people who want to come see us? I'm getting dripped out. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I, I keep it's getting, kind of we're not sweating. Here. It's actually just, <laughs> it's, it's dripping in here the today. Humidity. It's, it's, it's high humidity. Um, we talked, I talked about maybe we do a meet and greet with some people. Yeah. Like, just pick a date in like July, August, when when everything is impressive that they yeah. can come and see it and take pictures and ask questions and I don't know, we'll see about that. Yeah. And, and tell we, us your opinion. Yeah, and we sell out earlier and earlier. Like every our year, greenhouses so. would be closed at that point. Yep. But you'd get to like see everything. We probably have the fertilizer for sale outside. Sure. Too. I don't. Know. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Tell us what you think. But anyway, so that's that's uh, kind of the the differences. Mm -hmm. with petunias there's a vast difference between bedding plant um the medium vigor petunias like the easy waves and petunias and and then the super petunias so yeah really keep that in mind of you when you're planting or you know you have to have a little game plan of what you're doing for the year so that you it, it turns out nice and turns out as you want it to and as you expect it and not all petunias come in every single color right that's important to know yeah. that some you know the some of the varieties have certain characteristics whether it be the different colored throats or whether it be the striping yeah you know there's there's all different varieties and it's lots of flavors. just because you can get it in one size does not mean that it comes in all the sizes yeah i like the the uh, proven winners at vista series i wish there was oh i wish there was all colors. different colors but there's pink white or bubblegum pink uh hot pink uh and a white well they did have remember that one that we had it was um uh, yes Pistat, picasso no. yeah pretty much picasso pretty much picasso no it, it was it was really don't cool hate on us but it, it was really cool looking. it was like purple with dark green or light lime yeah, the, green is the, it lime green around it the the edge of the of the flower was green it was really cool it was looking. so cool but we <laughs> had a but. business local business take it and by midsummer they came back to us and they're like we don't know what's going on they're like our whole entrance smells like dog poop 
pee? And we're like, was it like pee? No, it was like poop. Oh, it was. It smelled. Like- it was horrible, <laughs> and it was the flower, the yeah. pretty, beautiful flower that was just so unique, and it smelled terrible yeah. when it, as it ripened, mm, and we, we kind of tested it out the next year, and we're like, oh my gosh, yeah, well, we yeah, I don't want that by my door either. We can't sell this so, to people. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Sometimes there's a swing and a miss, but yeah, sometimes it looked, really it looked beautiful. Ones. It just smelled. So <laughs> it's kind of oh, like, well. it's kind of like on Pinterest and stuff when, you know, they have pretty pictures of people and then they take their makeup off and oh, go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the flower looked really, really pretty, but mm, it don't want it. <laughs> so yeah, that's Petunia talk. That's Petunia talk. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you learned something. <laughs> I think that we're going to do a full, like, not a live, but a full video once everything is fully Sure, absolutely. I mean, we're going to be talking about petunias again. I mean, that's that's the majority of, of the flowers that we that we sell and, and grow. And it's Yep. So we'll, we'll be hitting this mm-hmm. topic again. So petunia talk will be, uh, version two will be coming <laughs> at you, I'm, I'm sure, soon. So I hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.